Hi, and welcome to Simventure Evolution, lesson four, about how to set up your company within Simventure Evolution. So in terms of what we did in lesson three, in that module, we covered the following areas. We talked about employability skills at length and writing up your reflective journal every week to make sure that you can put it in an appendix when we're finished this module. So now let's move on to how to set up our company. So what we're going to cover today is naming your company, selecting your team role, again, looking at reflective journals and how to set up your company using the case study that will be on your LMS system. So in this module, you're going to decide on a company name for your organisation. So what you probably need to do is if you're setting up as a limited company, you probably need to check on company's house that your existing company name doesn't exist already, because if it does, you can't have it. Or whether you're going to be a partnership or whether you're going to be a PLC, that's an entirely, uh, it's entirely your decision as a team as to what you're going to do. If you're working in a group as a team, you'll need to get together to decide on the management structure and roles within the company based on your individual strengths. Where groups are less than six, you will need to take multiple roles. If you're working on your own, then you're going to be responsible for just about everything uh, in the company. You'll also be writing up your thoughts in the reflective journal in preparation for the summative assessment. So to begin with, um, let's everybody go to look at your team roles. And the web website URL here is quite an interesting one to, to look at that. Because according to team role theories, there are specific different team roles. These roles can be functional, organizational, personal, or even skillful. Each team should consist of different team roles, depending on the specific goals the team wants to achieve. A team that does not have the ideal composition may run into problems. For example, a team consisting of only creative individuals will generate many ideas, but none of them will be implemented. A team consisting of only experts may lose sight of the big picture. A team will perform better if it's aware of the different roles required to reach a specific goal and is able to include those goals within the team. The last 30 years of interest in team composition has increased greatly, so it's something to be aware of here. Essentially, roles are equal to persona or masks or specific competency profiles and have been mentioned explicitly since ancient Greek history. Not only is it very suitable for working life, but also for the roles people play in life, family and even the military. The application of team roles, however, seems to be primarily detect, uh, directed rather at management teams nowadays. So this is a free teams role test at 123.com. Uh, it's inspired by ideas on team role theories, generalized competency frameworks and knowledge of the big five personality theory. Now, this is not to say that you should put yourself in a box or align yourself with any one thing, because when, when we look at individual and team roles, it's a combination of things that make up the person that you are. So just take this as one um, piece of jigsaw, if you like. So the big five personality theory, which has a link through from 123test.com, measures the roles found in businesses and management teams throughout the world in many cultures. It's a free test. So this test determines which team roles best suit you. For each pair of activities or qualities in the questionnaire, choose the one that best fits you. If both apply to you, you should choose the one that best fits your personality. So I should stop the recording here and go off and do that test and then come back to your group and discuss how you're going to work together. So let's break out now for about 20 minutes. What I need you to do is appoint a team leader or chief executive officer. I want you to focus on time management. So whoever's leading this particular activity, you do have 20 minutes, okay? So prepare and download lesson four, which is the company set up team roles. It's a PDF document. Work as a team, answer the case study questions, 
and then come back to the team and to me and tell me what you're going to do in terms of the roles that you want to do. So what you're now going to do is edit the company in the simulation, which I'll show you how to do shortly. The other thing to consider um, about when working as a group, it, you can self-select teams based on your interests. Somebody might be interested in finance or marketing. And to find out more about yourself, please do some more reading. Perhaps you'd like to look at Belbin's team roles or similar theories of team roles. Also, check out those websites that I've just discussed at the 123test.com to establish the role that you might be best suited for. Even if you're working individually, you should explore your team role so that you are aware of your strengths and opportunities when working as a team. If you're working as a team, have a discussion and make a decision as to who will be the CEO and how this decision was reached. Now your company is nearly ready to go. What you do need to consider is all of these roles and who's going to do what. If you're working in a team of less than six, it may be that one or more of you needs to do two jobs. So be thinking about that before you actually get going. So the other thing you might want to do is explore team models. Um, in the notes below this slide, there are a number of team models. This list is not extensive, but I think it would be useful in terms of the one, two, three test and other models to determine how the team's going to work. So you might want to have a look, for example, at Tuckman's stages of group development. So that would be forming, storming, norming, performing and adjourning. So you have links in the notes as to where to go for all of these um, team models. You might want to look at Belbin's team roles, which identifies nine roles individuals might adopt within a team, such as the coordinator, shaper, implementer, etc. Or you might want to look at the five dysfunctions of a team. Uh, and that is included with the absence of trust, fear of conflict, lack of commitment, avoidance of accountability and inattention to results, so it can lead to a dysfunctional team. Or you might want to look at Hackman's model of team effectiveness, which focuses on factors like clear goals, competent team members, uh, and an enabling organizational context. Or the GRPI model, which is goals, roles, processes, and interpersonal relationships, focusing on these elements to ensure team effectiveness. Uh, you might want to look at the next one, which is Team Diagnostic Model, which was developed by Ruth Wegerman. It assesses seven team conditions, team boundaries, team leadership, team tasks, team processes, team relationships, team rewards, and team identity. Uh, and then you might want to the, look at the Lencioni Pyramid, which builds on the five dysfunctions, but emphasizes building trust as the foundation followed by healthy conflict, commitment, accountability, and results. <laughs> or you might want to look at the Drexler Sibbert team performance model. It visualizes the stages of team development and the tasks and processes required at each stage. Ah, you might want to look at the team performance curve, which shows the stages teams go through from forming to performing and the potential for decline if issues aren't addressed. And lastly, the Vroom Yeton Yego decision model, cracky, that's a long name, which focuses on decision making within teams and helps determine the most appropriate leadership style for different situations. Which of these models offer unique insights into team dynamics and can be valuable tools for building and managing effective teams? There is um, a section in your summative assessment which looks at um, how you put together the team and the use and reflection on one of these models would be a, quite an interesting answer to the question there for the summative assessment. So when you've done all that, log in to the simulation, remembering to use the server address, not the SimVenture website, as we talked about before. Head over to company here and then you will be able to edit the company. So you'd need to press the edit button down here. And in here, then you can edit the company name, 
you can give it a strap line so nikes just do it you could have your own strap line for your organization you can create your own logo and then you can click into all of these different divisional areas and uh, put in your own uh, name in there so on the left hand side here if you're working in teams of three to five for example the tutor will have put your names into the simulation and then you can just literally pick and put your name in there remembering that you can have one or more roles so all you need to do then is put in your roles and then there'll be a confirm button down at the end there just press that and then your company name, your strap line, your logo, and all your company names are recorded in the simulation. Easy, huh? So, uh, as always, please keep a lesson journal, as you may need to include it in the assessment. You certainly do for mine. The journal in the simulation can be used, but remember, if you rewind back to the beginning, you may lose your data. So I would advise keeping your own document kept in the cloud for easy access in class. And remember that your journal needs to be uh, attached as an appendix in your summative assessment and make sure you keep it weekly. So in this model, we have discussed naming your company, selecting your team role um, and your leader, your CEO. We've talked about the reflective journal as well. So the CBI skills you may have developed today are a positive attitude, self-management, problem solving, team working, communication and literacy, and the application of technology. So do make sure in your journal you provide evidence of where you've developed one or more of these skills. And in the meantime, I will see you next time.